when you look at the Oscar nominees of 2011. You gotta think it was a great year for movies. Happy endings only happen in the movies. The story's not over yet. Wasn't it? Wow. I know, right? <laughs> eh, not if you ask this guy. I like reporting on the fun stuff. What I do is I track the box office. Every weekend, the box office derby is my thing. Paul DeGarabedian is the number cruncher for Hollywood.com. Last year, 2011, we saw the lowest attendance in 15 years. 15 and, years? Yeah, in 15 years. Let's go, kids. The reasons could fill the seats of an empty movie theater. Let's go see the movie. <laughs> The economy, that's one of the things I think that comes into play. When people are really having a hard time filling their wallet, you have to pick and choose what you're gonna spend your money on. In the pre-TV glory days, movies were just about the only choice. The thrill of shared emotions, fantasizing, dreaming with eyes open and hearts full. In fact, 1946, the year the best years of our lives came out, really was the best year ever for movies. Hello, Homer. Hi, Steve. Boy, am I happy to see you back home again. Oh, go ahead, shake, pal. I won't bite you. <laughs> About 60% of Americans went to the theaters every week. Today, there are countless diversions. The crowds are smaller and very different. The population that is going to movies less than they used to is clearly young men. Sharon Waxman runs The Wrap, a must-read blog for Hollywood insiders. Those people are now increasingly going to video games and spending time on YouTube and spending time on Facebook. And like Jeremy Ramuto in Oxford, Mississippi, renting movies instead of buying tickets. I think it's $8 for the movies, for one movie, and then it's $1.20 for one here. And then you're at the comfort of your own home. Especially if you got a big screen TV and surround, same thing. Some theater owners have picked up on that and tried to bring the comforts of home, and then some, to the multiplex. IPIC Entertainment VP Mark Mulcahy says attendance at his theaters was up in 2011. Waiters and waitresses in the theater. That's correct. They're actually trained to work in this dark environment. They're like ninjas. It's not negotiable. But experts say what's served in seat counts less than what's showing on screens. I think it ultimately comes back to the movie. If the quality of the movie. The quality of the movie. Joe Piccarello is a former studio exec and independent producer. Today, he leads the undergraduate department of film and TV at New York University's Tisch School. He knows the first lesson of Hollywood. Profit and successful box office trumps great reviews and Oscars all the time. Yes, tonight's favorites made money. The artist, $73 million. Hugo, $107 million. The Descendants, $144 million. But what brings in the big crowds and big money are the so-called tentpole movies, like Avatar, that draw men and women, kids and adults, and bring in over $300 million. In 2011, there were not enough blockbusters. How could that be when you have a Harry Potter, a Pirates of the Caribbean, a Twilight, all released in the same year? Because there were a lot of other movies in that vein that didn't work. There were about four, three hundred million dollar or more grossing movies in uh, 2010. There were only two in 2011. Two. Did you know her? That makes... It makes a difference. Patrick Corcoran heads media and research at the National Association of Theater Owners. It's essentially the product. I think that's what happens every year. It's whether we have an up year or a down year. It's always going to be about what's in the theaters themselves. And here's the tricky part. What ends up in theaters today isn't necessarily dictated by the folks on Main Street, but by movie fans across the globe. Hollywood journalist Sharon Waxman. We generally look at the domestic box office. That's also a, a fallacy because most of the money, two-thirds of the money, is now coming from international. And earlier this month, a sign of the movie times, a deal to show more American movies in China, with consequences back home. Subtitles are not the easiest thing for people to watch, so if the words aren't as important and the visuals are really driving it and the explosions, then that helps it overseas. But wait a minute, stop the action, cut! Thanks to some new, popular films, plus mild weather, and whatever it is that movie marketers can't bottle but worship, we're way up, we're 18% ahead of last year at this time. So box office has been booming right now. 
maybe nothing has changed from silent movies to talkies. From black and white to color. Make a popular movie, and people like Veronica Tori will come. The movies is a great place to get away, go see a movie, especially after a hard week of class, and just come to the movie, get some popcorn, even though it is overly priced, but it's all right. Live it up for the weekend.